My name's Toby Ollier and I'm a puppetry director and designer. I'm also the co-artistic director of Guy and Gimbal, a theatre company that specialises in puppetry. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own Hartlepool monkey puppet inspired by the monkey we used in our 2017 stage production of the Hartlepool monkey. So why don't I show you what you'll need and we can get started. Okay, so here's everything you're going to need to make your Hartlepool monkey puppet. First up, a copy of the puppet template. Now you can find a link to this uh, in the video's description, um, so you can print it off at home onto A4 paper. Um, you're also gonna need a piece of cardboard to stick your template onto. Um, now this is a bit of cardboard that I bought from an art shop, but you could easily use a cereal packet or something else from home. Just make sure you don't stick the body parts of the chimpanzee over any of the seams in a cardboard box when it's laying out flat. You want these to be really solid and not be um, weakened. Um, you're gonna need some glue uh, to stick the paper onto the card. You're gonna need some scissors to cut out uh, your bits of monkey puppet. You're gonna need some sellotape. Um, I'm using masking tape here so you can see it easier on the video, but sellotape will work just as well. Uh, you're gonna need five little brass split pins like those five of those. Um, anything you want to use to colour in your monkey template. I'm using colouring pencils, but you could use paints or markers or whatever your preference is. Um, you're also going to need uh, two control rods. I'm using little kebab sticks. That I've just trimmed the pointy ends off, um, but you could use chopsticks, um, knitting needles, whatever you have at home. Um, you're also going to need a nice sharp pencil and a pencil sharpener to keep it sharp. So first step is to take your template and glue it down onto the cardboard. So start by going onto the back of your bit of paper. Once your template is stuck down onto your cardboard and it's dry, the next step is to colour in all of the different parts of your monkey. Um, I'm going to colour my monkey puppet in so that it matches the puppet uh, from the stage production of Hartlepool Monkey that we made. Um, our monkey puppet was sort of grey and bleached and sort of gnarled, a bit like I've drawn here, so that he looked like sort of driftwood that had washed up on the beach. Um, but, you know, you can colour in your monkey whatever colour you want. You can give him black fur or brown fur, you make him a redhead. Um, you can, you know, let your imagination run wild. So now that I've coloured in my monkey to look like grey gnarled wood, um, the next step is to puncture some holes in your pattern so that you can use your brass split pins as uh, joints. So using a very sharp pencil, and be careful with your fingers um, behind, don't want you to prod yourself in the finger with the pencil, um, you're going to puncture a hole into your cardboard wherever you see the little crosses on the pattern. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So really, really carefully, minding your fingers, you're gonna puncture a hole through with your pencil. And the hole doesn't need to be huge. You don't want your pencil to go all the way through. It's just so your brass pins can kind of sit in and move around sort of freely. Um, the hole doesn't need to be too big. Those pins don't want to, um, they shouldn't fall through the hole. Um, so yeah, once you've punctured one, puncture the rest of the holes. So once you've punctured all five holes in your pattern, you can just turn over and press down and back any of the cardboard that's sort of raising up on the back where you've poked the pencil through, um, as you don't want this cardboard to get in the way of your split pin joints. So yeah, just push back any of that cardboard to make room for the pins, slightly flatten it out a bit, and that won't interfere with the joints of your puppet. And um, the next step, is to cut out all of your body parts. Um, I'm gonna cut up right, right, right against the line um, of the drawing. Thank you. 
cutting out puppets is thirsty work, so I've made a giant cup of tea as my reward. Um, next step is uh, we're going to use our little brass split pins for our puppet's joints, so we're going to attach them together. Um, and I just thought I'd show you how it goes together first. So your back leg and your front leg that have the holes um, poked into them, they're going to go onto pins that are attached on the back of the body, whereas the head this back leg and that front leg that don't have holes in them are gonna have pins stuck onto the back of them and go through those holes that are in the body section. I'll take you through it uh, to make it super clear. So let's start with all of the body parts that don't have um, a hole punched into them. What you're gonna do is, so I'm gonna start with the head, you're gonna take a little bit of tape that's sort of two centimeters long and you're gonna flip it over so the sticky side is on the top and you're gonna push the split pin through the tape. Again, be careful of your fingers. You're gonna push the split pin through the tape until the kind of head of the pin is stuck on the sticky side of the tape. You're then gonna put that pin sticking upwards, sort of into the middle, about there. You're gonna stick that pin down onto the back of your monkey's head. And then, you put the head pin through the hole in the neck and then open out those two brass ends of the pin and that creates your head joint. So I'm gonna do the same, exact same process on the front arm and the back leg that don't have holes punched into them. So, the other arm and leg are jointed onto the body in a slightly different way. So, I'll show you. So, same technique, pin through the sticky side of the tape, like so. And then what you want to do is attach your pin sort of a few centimetres away from where your other pins pop out of the body. So, for the other front arm, I'm sort of going quite near the edge with a bit of space. Don't worry if any tape overhangs the edge, you can always just trim it off with scissors afterwards. Um, so I'm sticking it, yeah, about a centimetre and a bit away from that first pin. And in the back leg one, pin through the tape. I'm sort of going, yeah, a few centimetres along, but slightly higher up the body for the other leg joint. Again, pressing the tape down. To just trim off that bit of tape that's overhanging the edge. You don't want it to get stuck on the front. Like so. so, then you're going to place your back leg on the lower pin and open that out, and your front leg on the top pin and open those bits of pin out. If for some reason any of the pins clash with each other, you can always slightly fold back one of the sort of arms of the pin so that they don't um, foul each other the joints. But from there, you should have a fully jointed monkey puppet. Um, so the next step is control rods. So your control rods here are gonna come off the back of your puppet so that you're operating the puppet from behind. One of your control rods is gonna go in the middle of the body so that you can twist it and move and control the legs. The other control rod is going to go on the top of the head so that you can control the monkey's eye line, where it's looking, what it's interested in, things like that. Um, to attach them, you're going to sandwich one end of your rods in masking tape. So I'm going to stick my rod sort of halfway down, my bit of tape, it's not, not quite to the end, but halfway down. And then I'm going to put another piece of tape on top of that, but I'm going to keep the unstuck section free. So I'm putting on another bit of tape on top and then almost I fold those back to make a bit of space but then pinch the tape together around the stick but leave those two loose ends. So you've sort of got like a capital letter T, there you go, um, of tape around your rod and then stick that into the middle of your body and I'll just press that really, really firm down so that it's nice and solidly attached. And then do the exact same thing, sandwiching your rod in a bit of tape, keeping those free ends 
can attach to each other. And then you might run out of room here, so you can again, you can always trim back the uh, masking tape if it gets in the way. But, but you basically want to, yeah, stick your head rod down onto your chimp, like so. And then again, you can trim off any tape that's in the way. Now you have your finished Hartlepool monkey puppet. The next step is to animate your monkey. You can start off with a walk. This involves lifting your rods to try and swing and catch the legs on the ground to make your monkey walk. It takes a lot of practice, but you can once you've got yourself into a walk and you go a bit faster and try a run, you can then try things like jumping, pushing back into his legs to leap forward. Um, you can try standing on back legs bit of balancing act for your chimpanzee. Or you can add tiny tabs of tape to the back of the limbs so that a second puppeteer can join you to make your monkey even more articulate. You can make it swing off things, you can make it pick things up to inspect them or eat them. The, the possibilities are endless. Um, if you share your monkey puppets on any social media, please use the hashtag HartleyPoolMonkey. <laughs>